guys, today we're going to be chatting about my favorite nude lipsticks. I'm going to be showing you lipstick swatches. I have drugstore, I have high-end, I have liquid, I have satin, I have glossy, a huge variety. I've done this for pinks and for reds and for nude glosses. That will all be linked down below. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoy these types of videos. But nude lipsticks are tricky. Of course, nude has synonymously been known as beige, which is just not the case. It's really depending on the person. But these are going to be nudes that I consider to be fairly similar to my skin tone and have more of a neutrally uh, kind of beigey brown thing going on. I will do like a peachy nude and a rosy nudes because I've got a lot of lipsticks, um, but I want to show you them on my lips, chat my way through the formulas, and even if you aren't my skin tone, these are great lipsticks, great formulas, and they may just look a little bit different on you than they do to me. So yeah, I really love all of them, so let's get started. So the first lipstick I want to talk about is actually from what I believe to be kind of an underrated line of lipsticks, and these are the Rimmel Stay Satin Liquid Lip Colors. I like the mattes, but I love the satins. I think it's a really nice formula. They have good wear time. They have kind of a more satin formula. They're not super pigmented, and this one is quite nude. This is probably one of the nudest. This is in the shade As If, and I used to wear All May Concealer on my lips as lipstick, and then I finally got this Revlon lipstick that I saw Holly, Holly Berry wearing in an ad. Um, so I would consider these like borderline concealery nudes. I do have a video on my favorite lip liners that make nude lipsticks more wearable. If you aren't wearing lip liners, my friend, now is the time. I will link that down below, but I really love this. I love the formula. This is definitely one that I would wear with a lip liner. I'm gonna show you some options that don't have lip liners included or needed. But yeah, I really like this one and I think it's a great formula and they've got a ton of great shades and a pretty big variety of nudes. Another lipstick formula that I feel is kind of maybe underrated. I feel like I don't hear a lot of people talk about it. They make one of my favorite reds. This is the NARS Power Matte Liquid Lipstick. And I'm not a big liquid lipstick girl at the moment. I'm definitely more traditional lipstick or a gloss right now. But these are really, really comfortable. I love this on its own with no lip liner, but it looks great with lip liner and I love it to mix as well. That is where I get like the most compliments or people are like, what are you wearing on your lips? And I'm like wearing like four things and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Let me begin to tell you the concoction, but this one is in the shade Get It On. This is a mini, I think it's from the holidays, but yeah, I really like this. I think it's just such a beautiful shade, but mostly, uh, and most importantly for me, the formula is really comfortable. It doesn't give that like dry, tight lip look to the lips, and yeah, I think it's just such a great formula. Another liquid lipstick that I really love is from Rihanna. I don't even remember, what is this called? Unbutton. This is an interesting one because it's quite nude, but I would say it has like, uh, new for me, yellow undertones in it, like not yellow in a bad way, <laughs> but it's kind of got a peachy yellowness to it that I think looks really gorgeous. Again, this is a great layering lipstick. It is great with liquid liner. I wouldn't say that I would wear this on its own. I do find it to be a little bit more drying than the NARS, but I do really like the formula. I really love the shade. Obviously love supporting Fenty and this freaking incredible packaging. And I really like the doe foot applicator on these. When I saw it, it looked a little bizarre. I remember when they first launched the red, but it's actually really comfortable. It gives you a lot of control when you're applying it to the lips. And I feel like uh, these, this one and the NARS have a pretty great lasting power too. These are like my current favorite lip obsession. I have been wearing so many colors from this line nonstop. I will link my full lip swatch videos down below, but I wanted to point this one out. This is from the NARS, I can't even remember what they call these, Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayon. It's so small. This one is in the shade Amaretto. If you have a similar skin tone to me, the shade Hard Cider makes an awesome lip liner. It's perfect for mixing, but um, I really do like this on its own. Super comfortable. It's kind of like, they call it a lip crayon, but it's basically just a lipstick in a skinnier format, and I really think these are so good. I think Bite does lips incredible. Every single line they come out with, I basically like, I love every shade. Like, I think they do such a, such a good job, and they're really, really comfortable. They are now vegan as well, if that is something that is important to you, and I really, really enjoy basically all the shades from this line, but Amaretto, I think, is, uh, Amaretto's, I think, is one of my favorite nudes. Maybe a forgotten lip formula, but still a great one, is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. Obviously, the butter glosses are so good, too. There's a shade of butter gloss that I know women who have deeper skin really love. I can't remember it's cinnamon roll or something like that but this is the soft matte lip cream in the shade london and i really like this because it's so thin 
some liquid lipsticks can be so thick and that makes it feel like tight and drying and just look like kind of paint but I think the thinness of this allows you to build it up it's not incredibly pigmented so it's not gonna like totally blank out your lips and I just think that it is really good. Also NYX, the soft matte lip creams, the butter glosses, they're all still very well priced. It's like kind of one of those staple products at the drugstore that continues to have a good price. You know, like kind of the older L'Oreal, the older CoverGirl stuff that still exists at the drugstore is like cheaper. Um, but yeah, I really, really love this. And I think it has a really nice kind of browniness to it. Now I have such a love-hate relationship with these liquid lipsticks. These are the Smashbox Always On. They did just, however, launch these which are like um, kind of a more traditional lipstick tube and they're really interesting because they go from like creamy to quite matte very similar to a liquid lipstick so I think that may be a better route but I really I love the formula of these I love the way they look on the lips this one is in the shade got a light and I think it's really beautiful also stepping out is a really good nude I couldn't find that um, but I just they dry out so quickly like I had to throw one out recently and obviously I have a lot of makeup and stuff, but the, the the lid was on tight, like all of these liquid lipsticks, some of them I've had for longer than that one, and I feel like they dry out more than any other liquid lipstick, so it's super disappointing. I do want to make the recommendation, however, just because I really do like the shade, and this one has lasted a decent amount of time. I don't know if it varies, if the formula has maybe been improved over time, but I really, really enjoy this shade. I think it can be worn on its own, but I probably prefer it with a lip liner. What I'm wearing on my lips right now with a little bit of ColourPop BFF3 lip liner is these blew me away when they launched them. These are the Burt's Bees liquid lipsticks. This one is in the shade Niagara Nude and they have so many good shades in that line. I will link to my lip swatch video down below. I think like almost every one of the nude shades worked for my skin tone without a lip liner and that almost never happens and I did not see that coming and I was very very pleased. Uh, these are like a liquefied lipstick so they're full of pigment, full of color, but they have a little bit of gloss to them but I think because of the they're on the thicker side but not sticky, they do last really nicely on the lips, it's super hydrating, cruelty free as well uh, and available at the drugstore. I think these are great. I also did want to mention the Maybelline Into Matte Nudes, one of the best nude lipstick lines that are out there. It goes from very uh, light for like lighter skin tones up to very deep for deeper skin tones so it kind of has a nude for everybody in there. I will link that video down below too, I know I'm linking a lot but my lipstick drawer is so out of control right now if you saw my recent declutter video and I couldn't find any of the into mattes that I really loved so I'll link that down below but these Burt's Bees ones are fabulous. Now if you're looking to spend some big bucks and maybe want a beautiful vanity item this is the uh, Givenchy La Rouge Deep Velvet in the shade 10 Beige New. I really love this. It has a little bit more peachy pinkness than some of the other ones that I'm mentioning today. I think it makes it really, really wearable. I won't say that the formula is like out of this world incredible. It's just a great, a great lipstick. It sticks around. It's not drying. It's full of pigment. It's comfortable. But obviously the Givenchy name is going to get the price up there. The packaging, like it's straight up red velvet like you feel so so fancy so obviously this is going to be a bit of a higher end pick but you know if you were looking to spend some bucks and wondering is this actually any good I really enjoy it another lipstick line that I feel like never gets much love and I included a pink lipstick from this line in my pink lips video is what do they even call these the um, Estee Lauder pure color love lipsticks again really beautiful packaging it shows you the color on the bottom which I find really helpful and that kind of comes off like a, it's a little bit different than a typical lipstick Stick. It also comes to a point. I don't know if you can see, but I really like that for application. And this is a really great nude nude for me. It's pretty pretty much the same color as my skin. And I love wearing nude lipsticks with really bright eyes, really gold eyes. It's just like obviously so versatile. And I think this is such a great shade. This one is in the shade Naked City. For the Pure Color Love line, when you are purchasing, I believe they do have different formulas. So they might have like a, a matte, a satin, and maybe metallics or glosses or something like that. Because the matte, I believe, that I mentioned, or, the, or sorry, the pink that I mentioned in my pink video is matte. And this one has kind of more of a cream formula with a little more sheen, um, but still nice lasting power. Probably the easiest lipstick to throw on that I'm going to mention today is from L'Oreal. These are their Color Reshine lipsticks. I really love these. I think they're super easy. They're 
hydrating. They're not going to last for like the longest period of time because it is a bit of a, you know, glossier, thinner formula, but I don't find it to be like slippery and greasy. I do find it sticks around decently. And the nice thing is you don't need a lip liner with it. And for me anyways, I don't really need a mirror when I'm applying it. So if I do need to reapply, then it's not a big deal. I almost never reapply lipstick though, honestly. This one is in the shade uh, Glossy Fawn. And I find it to be very similar to the YSL lipsticks that are this formula. YSL is owned by L'Oreal, so who knows what's going on there. But I really love these. I think they have really great shades in the line and Glossy Fawn is, I think would work great for anybody. And then I have this other drugstore option from CoverGirl. This is from their Exhibitionist line in Tempting Toffee. I thought that this was a great line. I swatched it a while back. I really enjoy CoverGirl lipsticks. I will say the lasting power on this one is not great. They've got a bunch of different formulas within this line. So this one is a cream. They've got demi mattes and mattes. I would say the demi mattes are my favorite because they stick around but they're not like too matte matte. The cream is a little bit slippery, a little bit thin, but again that's going to depend on your personal preference and I forgive it because I really love the shade. I also love the packaging that they put the color on the bottom if you've got a lot of lipsticks like me. It's super helpful and CoverGirl and L'Oreal have had some like really questioning smelling lipsticks. And I'm not like super sensitive to scents. I don't mind it, but if I can taste it, that's a problem. And I remember their like cat lipsticks that came out a while ago. They were so stinky and stuck around on the lips, but this smells like a lipstick, like if you really get in there, but otherwise there's no discerning like scent or taste, which is really important to me. And um, yeah, I'm glad they got rid of that because that was not so good. So those are my favorites. Be sure to stay tuned for peachy nudes and rosy nudes. Those will be coming soon. And let me know down below what your favorite nude lipstick is. Did I talk about it today? Have I encouraged you to purchase a nude lipstick? I always love to get your feedback and hear what you're thinking. But if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SamanthaJaneYT. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!